Have you ever found yourself in the midst of a raging storm? Wondering if you'll ever make it through to the other side? My dear friends, life is full of storms, but I want to assure you today that with God by your side, you can ride out any storm that comes your way. I'm also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. Understand that, just like a sailor navigating through turbulent waters, we too can learn to navigate the storms of life with faith and perseverance. With God, all things are possible. In Mark 4, verses 35 to 41, we see Jesus calming the storm that threatened to overwhelm his disciples. He said to the wind and the waves, Peace, be still, and the storm subsided. So, we all face storms at some point in life. But this miraculous event in Scripture demonstrates that no matter how fierce the storms may be, Jesus has the authority to speak peace into any situation and bring calm to our lives. Now, let us explore the inevitability of storms. Life is full of ups and downs, and storms are an inevitable part of our journey. As long as we are in this life, we simply cannot avoid them. Just as the disciples found themselves caught in a sudden storm on the Sea of Galilee, we too will face unexpected challenges and difficulties in our lives. It's easy to feel overwhelmed and helpless when the winds of adversity are blowing against us. But we must remember that God is with us in the midst of the storm. We find a beautiful promise from God. In Psalm 46, verse 1, which says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. So, my friends, when the storms of life come, we can turn to God for shelter and support. He is our rock and our fortress, a safe haven in times of trouble. One of the most important things we can do when facing a storm is to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. When the storm was raging, the disciples cried out to Jesus in fear. But he rebuked the wind and the waves, and the storm subsided. My friends, when the storms of life come, keep your eyes on Jesus. Cry out to Jesus and trust in his power to see you through. Our God is faithful, and he is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. The storms of life can take many forms. Financial difficulties, health issues, relationship problems, or even spiritual battles. But no matter what kind of storm you're facing, remember that God is with you, and he will never leave you, nor forsake you. In the Old Testament, we see how God delivered the Israelites from slavery in Egypt and led them through the wilderness. They faced many challenges along the way, including hunger, thirst, and attacks from their enemies. But God provided for their needs and protected them every step of the way. As it is stated in Exodus 15, verse 2, The Lord is my strength and song, and He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise Him. My Father's God, and I will exalt Him. This verse celebrates God's provision and protection. Reflecting the Israelites' gratitude and recognition of His continuous support throughout their journey. Similarly, when we face storms in our own lives, we can trust that God will provide for us and protect us. He may not always calm the storm immediately, but He will give us the strength and courage to ride it out. It's also important to remember that storms are not always a punishment or a sign of God's displeasure. Because sometimes, when we see others going through storms, we might think that they are being punished. However, that's not necessarily the case. 
Let us recall the story in the New Testament, specifically in John 9, verses 2 to 3, when the disciples asked Jesus about a man born blind, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus responded, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. This teaches us that challenges and hardships can also serve as opportunities for God's works to be displayed in our lives. In fact, sometimes God allows us to go through storms in order to strengthen our faith and draw us closer to Him. Just as a tree grows stronger when it is buffeted by the wind, our faith can grow stronger when it is tested by the storms of life. The Apostle Paul knew a thing or two about facing storms. He was shipwrecked, beaten, and imprisoned for his faith, but he never lost hope in God's power to deliver him. In his letter to the Romans, Paul wrote this in Romans 8, verse 28. We know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. My dear friends, when you find yourself in the midst of a storm, remember that God is working all things together for your good. He has a plan and a purpose for your life, and He will use even the most difficult circumstances to accomplish His will. So when the storms of life come, don't try to face them alone. Draw nearer to God and allow yourself to be comforted by the Holy Spirit. Turn to God in prayer. Put your trust in God, trusting that He will indeed work it out. Remember that you are not alone and that God is with you every step of the way. Let us look at the words of an old beloved hymn, which says, When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll. Whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. May you find that same peace and assurance in the midst of your storms, knowing that God is with you and will never leave you nor forsake you. So let us now explore navigating the storm with wisdom. When we find ourselves in the midst of a storm, it can be tempting to react impulsively or make hasty decisions. However, navigating the storms of life requires wisdom and discernment. We need to seek God's guidance and trust in His plan, even when the path ahead seems unclear. In the book of James, we read this in James 1 verse 5, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. When we are facing a storm, we can turn to God and ask for the wisdom we need to navigate the challenges before us. One of the keys to navigating the storm with wisdom is to maintain a proper perspective. It's easy to get caught up in the chaos and confusion of our circumstances but we must remember that God is still in control. The prophet Isaiah reminds us in Isaiah 26, verse 3, You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. When we keep our minds focused on God and trust in his sovereignty, we can experience peace even in the midst of the storm we can have confidence that He is working all things together for our good and His glory. Another important aspect of navigating the storm with wisdom is to be patient and wait on God's timing. According to Habakkuk 2, verse 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come it will not tarry. Sometimes the storms of life can feel endless and we may grow weary of waiting for relief, but we must remember that God's timing is perfect and He is always faithful to fulfill His promises. As we wait patiently on Him, 
He will give us the strength and endurance we need to persevere. Navigating the storm with wisdom also requires a willingness to seek wise counsel from others. The book of Proverbs tells us in chapter 11, verse 14, where there is no counsel. The people fall, but in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. When we are in the midst of a storm, it can be helpful to seek the advice of supportive friends, family members, or spiritual leaders. Sometimes they can offer a fresh perspective, provide encouragement, and help us discern God's will for our lives. Ultimately, navigating the storm with wisdom means surrendering our lives to God and trusting in His plan. It means acknowledging that we don't have all the answers and that we need His guidance and strength to make it through. As we seek His wisdom and trust in His sovereignty, we can have confidence that He will lead us through the storm and into the light of His love and grace. May we navigate the storms of life with the wisdom that comes from above, always keeping our eyes fixed on the one who calms the seas and guides us home. Also, in the midst of life's storms, it can be easy to feel overwhelmed and powerless. The challenges we face can seem insurmountable, and we may wonder how we will ever make it through. But even in the darkest of times, we can find strength in the presence of God. One of the most inspiring examples of finding strength in the storm is the story of David and Goliath. When the Israelites were faced with the mighty Philistine warrior, they were filled with fear and despair. But David, a young shepherd boy, stepped forward with faith and courage. He declared in 1 Samuel 17, verse 37, the Lord, who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. David's faith in God gave him the strength to face his giant, and with a single stone, he defeated Goliath and brought victory to Israel. My dear friends, when we face the giants in our own lives, we too can find strength in the Lord. He is our rock and our fortress our ever-present help in times of trouble. Again, we see where the Apostle Paul also knew what it meant to find strength in the storm. He faced countless trials and persecutions, but he never lost hope. He wrote in 2 Corinthians 4, verses 8 to 9, We are hard-pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. Paul's secret to finding strength in the storm was his unwavering faith in Christ. He knew that no matter what he faced, God's grace was sufficient for him. In 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9, the scripture tells us, and he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. My friends, when you find yourself in the midst of a storm, remember that God's grace is sufficient for you. His strength is made perfect in your weakness, and He will give you the power to overcome any obstacle. And above all, remember that God is the one who gives us strength to endure. May you find your strength in Him, and may His peace guard your heart and mind in the midst of every storm. Let us now turn our attention to riding out the storm with faith. My dear friends, when we find ourselves in the midst of a storm, it can be easy to lose faith. We may wonder where God is, or why is He allowing us to go through such a difficult time. But always remember that it is in these moments that our faith is tested and refined. The Bible tells us in Hebrews 11 verse 1 that faith is the substance of things hoped for, 
the evidence of things not seen. This powerful declaration serves as a cornerstone for believers, encouraging us to trust confidently in God's promises, even when they are beyond our physical sight. It reminds us that true faith acts on what it believes and not on what it sees. When we are in the middle of a storm, we may not be able to see the way out, but we can have faith that God is with us and will see us through. One of the most powerful examples of faith in the face of a storm is the story of Job. Job was a righteous man who lost everything, his wealth, his children, and even his health. But even in the midst of his suffering, Job never lost his faith in God. In Job 13, verse 15, he said, Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. My friends, when the storms of life come, we too can choose to trust in God. We may not understand why we are going through a particular trial, but we can have faith that God has a plan and a purpose for our lives. Another example of faith in the face of a storm is the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These three young men were thrown into a fiery furnace because they refused to worship a false god. How many of us would have been willing to do what they did? How many of us would have shown the same courage and conviction under those circumstances? Even in the midst of the flames, these young men trusted in God to deliver them. And God did indeed deliver them sending an angel to protect them from the flames. Let us pay attention to what the scripture says in Daniel 3, verses 23 to 25. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished, and he rose in haste and spoke, saying to his counselors, did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said to the king, True, O king. Look, he answered, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. This miraculous sight not only amazed the king, but also serves as a profound testament to the protective power of faith and the presence of God in times of great trial. When we face the storms of life, we too can trust in God to deliver us. He may not always answer our prayers in the way we expect, but we can have faith that He is working all things together for our good. My dear friends, when you are in the midst of a storm, Remember that God will give you the strength you need to ride out the storm. Take hold of His hand and trust in His love and care for you. In the Old Testament, the prophet Isaiah wrote in Isaiah 43, verse 2, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. What a beautiful promise from our loving God. So my friends, when you find yourself in the midst of a storm, don't lose faith. Hold on to the promises of God and trust in His faithfulness. Remember that He is with you always and that He will see you through to the other side. I know that some of you may be going through a difficult storm right now. Maybe you are facing a health crisis or financial difficulties, relationship problems or some other challenges. But whatever storm you are facing, know that God is with you and that he will give you the strength and courage you need to ride it out. My dear friends, don't lose hope. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus and trust in his power to calm the storms in your life. Hold fast to his promises and lean on his everlasting arms. 
and may the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Your storm won't last. Ride out your storm. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Sovereign Lord, I come before you with a heart filled with gratitude and praise. You are the Almighty God, the Creator of heaven and earth, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Your love knows no bounds, and your mercy endures forever. I exalt your holy name, for you alone are worthy of all praise, honor, and glory. You are my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer, in whom I trust. Lord, I thank you for your unchanging love and unwavering faithfulness in my life and in the lives of my loved ones. I thank you for being my constant companion through every storm and trial and never leaving my side. I am grateful for your provision, protection, and guidance. Forgive me, Lord, for my sins for the times I have fallen short of your glory and for the moments I have doubted your goodness. As you have forgiven me, I also forgive those who have trespassed against me. As I face the storms of life, I ask for your divine intervention and strength. In times when the winds of adversity blow against me, Lord, I ask that you anchor me in your truth and love. When the waves of uncertainty crash over me, remind me that you are the master of the seas. I declare in the name of Jesus that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against me in judgment shall be condemned. In the name of Jesus, I bind the power of the enemy over my life, my family, and my circumstances and I rebuke every stronghold that seeks to hinder my progress. Lord, I ask for your healing touch upon every area of my life. Heal the wounds of my past, the brokenness of my present, and the fears of my future. I declare that by your stripes. I am healed, and I claim victory over every physical, emotional, and spiritual affliction. Father, protect me from the attacks of the enemy and surround me with your mighty angels. Deliver me from every snare and trap set against me. Lead me away from temptation and grant me the wisdom to discern the schemes of the enemy. I ask for your abundant blessings to flow into every aspect of my life. Lord, bless my family, my relationships, and my finances. Pour out your favor and grace upon me, and open doors of opportunity that no man can shut. I declare that I am blessed to be a blessing, to the glory of your name. I pray that you would extend the same blessings and protection upon my loved ones, that they too may experience the fullness of your love and grace. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement, united in faith and purpose, knowing that where two or three are gathered in your name, you are there in our midst. Gracious Lord, we pray for each other, lifting up our burdens and struggles before your throne of grace. We declare that we are more than conquerors through Christ who loves us 
and that nothing can separate us from your love. We claim victory over every storm and trial, knowing that you are working all things together for our good. We receive your healing, your peace, and your protection, and we trust in your unfailing love. Fill us afresh with your Holy Spirit, that we may be empowered to live a life that honors and glorifies you. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. If you were blessed by this message, type the word amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member who you know needs the blessing of this prayer and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our daily Jesus devotional channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all those who support us. You're blessed to be a blessing. Now, for those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those that are lost. God loves you. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. I pray. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public.